J Lo on the track. Video Productions. Yeah, and you know, if you're, if you're just listening and not watching, Charlie can't even move. Mm -hmm. like, Charlie is really hurting, um, but he's a gamer, and you know, he that's a tough matchup. I thought he came out, and you know, you know, I don't know what did JT have. Twenty and fourteen, right? Right. So he had a good night, but I thought Charlie won the matchup. So I thought Charlie made it tough and he got him frustrated. And uh, Colton came in, did a great job. Still had him at the end of the game, but Charlie, just that's the kid you want on your team. Mm -hmm. Uh, Marcus made his usual big three at the end to kind of what? change the game and uh, made all those big three throws at the end again and you just expect that from him and uh, you mentioned guys growing up and, and making big improvements. Uh, you just can't say enough about Marcus and stealing with his oh, yeah, game. Uh, this was a big one tonight and uh, we got, got 24 hours to think about this and it's not going to be Jefferson, it's going to be Yankton. That game was maybe even better than this one and they're both unbelievable. And, uh, I don't know what to expect tomorrow. We saw the best of both teams and the worst of both teams. A couple months ago, so mm -hmm. your guess good as mine, I guess. What's yeah, going to happen tomorrow it's, night? It's going to be a battle. Um, but, you know, I saw Coach Haynes after his game, and, you know, he gave me a big thumbs up. And he, I see, he saw me after our game, I gave him a big thumbs up. You know, those ESD schools stick together a little bit. And I guess those ESD schools can still get it done from time to time. Here we go, knocking up Sioux Falls Powers. Coach, good luck. We'll see you tomorrow. Coach Ryder Price. Yeah. Reaction to the action again. Tournament yeah. fever coming up here. Ricky kind of mentioned it right there, but what do you expect for tomorrow? What stands out about them? He played that, again, very weird game down in Yankton. It seems like an eternity ago. Yeah, uh, two completely opposite teams. Yankton is, has elite guards with the Rikens and then Oswald and Morris who make life tough. And then we, I feel like we have elite bigs who, who can make life tough. So it's a battle of completely contrasting styles and two teams that are playing, obviously, are playing their best basketball right now and are playing the best basketball in double A. Uh, it's going to be a fight, and, you know, we're excited for it. Do you feel like, even though the styles may be different, both teams are, are similar in a way where, you know, they have six, seven, eight guys who can come in and contribute, and they were, quite frankly, a little overlooked, too. And Yes, uh, absolutely. There's going to be a lot to prove for both sides tomorrow evening. Yeah. I just love it. You know, I love it. Two teams that were doubted. Uh, find me someone who had Yankton and Mitchell in the state championship game, and, and I'm going to tell you nobody. No, nobody did, unless you're a, you're a Mitchell fan who has cousins in Yankton. Um, <laughs> um, uh, well, I don't know where it's at. Um, just Yankton. You know, it's... I, I And we had the two biggest crowds here. You know, Yankton brought, brought a huge crowd. Mitchell showed up. There will be more coming tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be... Um, you know, what we've worked for all year, that environment, so that's where we're at. You speak to, similar like last night, several big pushes made in that second half by uh, by Lincoln, and I think I counted five times the lead got down to three points or less, but you never gave up the lead. Can you speak to the resilience of your squad tonight? 
I, I can't. I can't even describe it at this point. You know, they just, they just, it's every time they take the floor where they're put in tough spots and they have to fight to fight their way out of it. And they always do. And they just, that's what happens when you have really good leaders. And that's what happens when you have some sub varsity guys, or not sub varsity, some uh, underclassmen who know how to play their role and are aggressive and not afraid of the moment. Um, just, it, it makes a coach proud. What was going through your mind on the final position? Please don't score. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'll walk with you. First time, sit down. I don't know. Board and playing for a state championship as they beat Jimmy Lincoln 61 to 59.